how to build and deploy a Helidon application using Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.1. Attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent with the Heroku CLI installed on it. Down in the description of this video is a link to our sample repository. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this sample repository. The way that this was created is I used the Maven archetype for a Helidon SE application. Not the MP, but the SE. And once I created that, all the files existed here except for three that I added. I added a .git ignore, I added a Docker file, and I added a Jenkins file. Now you may notice here that we have a Docker file original and a Docker file. When this was generated, it generated all of these different Docker file options for me. I renamed the original Docker file to Docker file original and created a new Docker file. So let's compare what the original file was against what we're actually going to be using. On the left is the original and on the right is just the plain Docker file that we are going to be using. So we can see here that the first stage of this multi-stage Docker file was using Maven. Now in the original, it was using 3.6 JDK 11. In my case, I'm using 3.8.6 Eclipse Timurin 11. The main body of the build stays exactly the same. And then in the runtime side of the image, instead of using OpenJDK 11, I'm using Timurin 11 Alpine. And again, we're just copying over the files that were the same that were built up in the build stage. And then we make one other change. Instead of saying command Java jar, Helidon quick start SE jar, what we're going to be doing is we now have an entry point, Java, and we're passing in the system property of server.port and setting it to an environment variable named port because Heroku provides a port environment variable for us. And then we just say the same as before, dash jar, and then Helidon quick start SE jar. Now that we've taken a look at the Docker file, let's go take a look at our Jenkins file. And in our Jenkins file is a fairly straightforward declarative pipeline. Since we are going to be using Heroku, we need access to the Heroku API. So we're going to be setting up a credential to be able to use that API key. We have a couple of other environment variables, one for the app name, at Heroku, and then the image name and the image tag. And if we take a look at the stages within our Jenkins file, we're going to do a Docker build. We're going to log into our registry at Heroku. We're going to then push the image up to Heroku. And then finally, we're going to release the image out to the runtime by doing a Heroku container colon release web and then specifying the app name. And then finally, we do a log out. So let's go over to Heroku and first set up our application. So I'm going to copy the app name here from my Jenkins file. We'll go over to Heroku and create a new application. We'll paste in the app name. It says it's available. Let's click on Create App. Now that we've created the application, we need to go ahead and create the credential for our API key. So let's go back over to our Jenkins file. Let's copy Heroku API key as the ID. We'll go back into the controller, click on Manage Jenkins, Manage Credentials. We'll click on Global, Add Credentials. We'll change this to Secret Text. We'll paste in Heroku API key for both the ID and the description. Let's go back over to Heroku. We'll go under My Profile, click on Account Settings, and let's scroll down to the API key section. We'll click on Reveal. Let's copy this API key. We'll go back over to our controller and paste it into the secret and click on Create. Okay, at this point, what we have is our repository. We have our credential set up for the API key, and we also have the application set up within Heroku. So now we're ready to go ahead and create our job within our controller. So let's go ahead and go back up to Dashboard, click on New Item. We're going to call this Jenkins-Example-Helidon. We'll click on Pipeline and click OK. Now let's go back over to the repository because I'm going to need the URL. I'll click on Code and copy the URL. So let's go back into our controller. We'll scroll down to Script from SCM, change the SCM to Git. We'll change our branch to Main. We'll verify that our script path is Jenkins file. Let's click on Save and then click on Build Now. And now that our job has completed successfully, let's go back over to Heroku. Let's go back into our application. So we'll select that, click on Settings, and then let's scroll down to our application URL. Let's open that up in a new tab. And as that renders, it says, no handler found for path slash. But in reality, this URL does not work. Let's go back to our code here real quick. We want to look for our main endpoint, which is slash greet. So if we take a look at it, what we want to do is we want to receive the default greeting message. So it's going to be slash greet. 
So let's go back over to our browser, and instead of looking at just the slash, let's look at slash greet. And what we'll see here, if I take a look at the raw data, that we get a message back that says, hello world. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter, at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.